and don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello there. Just finished the book, Regicide. Okay, now the first, uh, it's the Completionist Chronicles. The first book I had an issue with because it felt like really just two books pasted together. This one seems to find more of a rhythm because when you have like a, I've always called it a lit RPG. I think I went through this in the last, last <laughs> video where I, I call it a lit RPG, a uh, literature role playing game. Um, so I've always had, a, it's, it's basically objective based. However, in the first book, there was like one massive objective and then the second massive objective, which seemed like two separate books. This one, it does seem to have that feel, but it's split off. Like he'll be working on one thing. He realizes he needs a party. So he creates a party. And in the middle of creating a party, he sent on an objective to find a village. After he finds a village, and then he separates himself from the party again. It's just like, it tends to be the same thing over again. Just it seemed to have a little more beats in between where everything just flows in a line. So. He'll be working on one thing, which will lead to another, which will lead to another, which will lead to another. This one I actually prefer. I'm not a big fan of how these books start out. I always skip the a prologue because I don't care what's happening in the real world. <laughs> I'm here to find out what's going on in the game. That's one thing I've always found about these lit RPGs. They try to rope it in and I understand that because even the one I'm trying, uh, well, one of the few I'm working on, I try to rope in the world because it, it, it just brings a lot more when you see who they are in the world and then who they are in the game. But the problem is, in this one, it doesn't work because he doesn't exist in the real world. So doing that just seems pointless. If anything, I would prefer him hearing everything after the fact. I don't like us seeing it because we're not a part of that journey. We're a part of Joe's journey. So we would learn everything as he learns everything. So that's just my thing. I just prefer that. I like that aspect of it. It, it is kind of, I don't like it where it's like the world, the, the AI is snarky. The AI is just like, sadly, the way I've been doing it is the AI is, you know what? I'm not going to get into that about how I do it. Um, but yeah, it's just like, it, it just it just seems to why would the AI be snarky? Why would it talk back? Why would it care about this one being in its massive world of Yeah, just that all needs to be sure it's all self-automated, but, but why would you bother with one person? Why would you bother picking on one person? It just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Sure they find errors. You would be I think you would be happy if someone found errors with your pro with your product. Yeah, but it's just like I, I do enjoy it, but still I don't think it's as good as his original series, Dungeonborn, which I will review at some point, probably after yeah, I catch up on this book series. Um, yeah, Regicide was better. Uh, it is always funny how he throws the name in the book. He does that way too often. It's just, oh my gosh, I'm really having an issue with my camera. Uh, yeah, but he kills a guy named Reggie and then it's called Regicide. It's like, okay, cool, uh, whatever. Yeah, but I don't know if I could actually, they are fun read, they are enjoyable, but yeah, they're like every other one. Of course, this one is done better than some of the others because I remember that I've gone through others and then when it comes to like this, like one thing I can't stand is when they like have champions fighting each other. It's like, you are a champion of one god, you're a champion of one god, you're a champion of this person. And then they have to kill each other. It just seems like a unnecessary plot in this. I've, I've always felt that, I mean, We'll see. We'll see where the, uh, where where if where that goes. I mean, thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Toodles.